The latest Star Wars trailer is out of this world. It's the best thing you will see from now until December, so go watch it right now. It premiered after the Star Wars Celebration live event featuring the main cast, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy. Get up to speed on everything on IGN, but for now, let's get to the news. Everyone, Geralt's beard is now gold. Wait, that's not right. Oh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt has gone gold, meaning the fantasy RPG is now completed and ready to launch May 19th. Yay! CD Projekt Red boss Adam Badowski celebrated by saying, We worked so damn hard over the past three years to bring you this game, from the corrupt nobles in Novigrad to ancient monsters lurking in deep forests to the bustling cities, colorful ports and breathtaking vistas, all the people, all the places. We literally spent tens of thousands of hours to turn all that into an adventure that will kick your ass and make you want to come for more. Yes, I am so ready for this. With Star Wars Battlefront getting a reveal trailer tomorrow, EA is putting teaser images up on Instagram. In the meantime, the collection of photos shows off close-ups of a stormtrooper in the DICE-developed game, giving us our first look at the design of the soldiers. Though I must say the person in the picture looks a little short to be a stormtrooper. See what I did there? All too easy. Anyway, be sure to join the IGN Rebel Alliance and follow all of our awesome Star Wars celebration coverage starting today and throughout the weekend. So, get this, you may be playing Bloodborne in hard mode without even knowing it. How messed up is that? The Hand Lantern, which frees up your hands for weapons, reduces the speed of your stamina regeneration. The kicker? The game doesn't even tell you this. YouTube user Pwenboy1 showcased the differences in regeneration speed using a hunter axe, and we tested this out at IGN to confirm utilizing the lantern is pretty harmful overall. Yep, you can check out the video to enlighten yourself on the situation. Congrats to NetherRealm Studios and Warner Brothers as Mortal Kombat X is the bloodiest, I mean biggest, launch in the franchise history. Mortal Kombat co-creator Ed Boon took to Twitter to thank the fans for the successful launch. He said, thank you everyone for making Mortal Kombat X the biggest launch in MK history. You made the game far exceed our wildest expectations. Boon also confirmed that NetherRealm is addressing online connectivity issues, promising fixes in the future. Nice. Australia's last AAA development studio, 2K Australia, is closing up shop. The Canberra-based developer worked on the Bioshock series and also created Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Publisher 2K Games said in a statement, We can confirm we have taken steps to begin the studio closure process for 2K Australia in order to better manage ongoing development costs while improving the working proximity of our creative teams. We are very grateful for the team's valuable contributions to numerous 2K projects and are working with affected staff to explore reassignment opportunities where possible. Our thoughts are with those who lost their jobs, and we here at The Fix hope all 2K Australia employees land on their feet quickly. And that's your Daily Fix for April 16th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.